I'm Kevin Matthews, um, president of Matthews Family Farms in North Carolina, Inc. Here, uh, we're a fourth generation farm uh, in the Piedmont of North Carolina. We love corn, corn's my passion. Our actual acreage base, we're about 4,500 acres. We're running uh, mostly dry land. Dry land is, is kind of, it's risky, it's tough here. You know, we, we're blessed with a lot of rainfall, but when it quits raining, we're 12 days away from a drought in the Piedmont. You know, water's our most limiting factor here, and heat also, but if you've got adequate water, you can handle the heat. Our goal is to farm less acres and but yet produce more bushels. We felt like it, you know, we needed to make a change. And so we had had center pivots for a while and they just don't work in our small field sizes. So four years ago, we decided we had to do something different. Um, so we went with SDI because we could irrigate fields that you just cannot irrigate with a center pivot. Our location here in the Piedmont, North Carolina, we've got rolling land, we've got irregular shaped fields, and uh, one field is going to have five to ten soil types. And we're talking about a 20 acre field, so you kind of got to decide, okay, what, what system can I put in here that I can still get the right nutrients in the right place for this particular soil type? We've got the Netafem SDI, subsurface drip irrigation, with the multiple soil types, it's just a really good fit for our operation. The fertilizer aspect is something that, you know, really we wasn't looking at to start with, but there's a lot to gain by that. We run an NMC, this computer that programs in uh, how much uh, fertilizer is going to go in. It, it controls all the parameters of the irrigation. That way, when we're growing a crop, we can put the right nutrients in the right place through that drip. We use a lot less nitrogen. Um, so we don't have the leaching, we're keeping our streams so much safer and the environment so much safer. It's really neat that it gives you the ability that you can irrigate multiple places in the field or not irrigate. Uh, you can really give the crop exactly what it needs when it needs it. It's really changed the dynamics of our business. Um, we really have improved yields. Uh, excellent dry land corn crops, 175, 180 bushels, so we're at 300 on SDI with irrigated with uh, 11 inches irrigation water. That's pretty good. I mean, that's, that's really good stuff. I'm frankly not surprised at the yields that Kevin is getting. You know, genetically, the seed companies tell us that we have 600 bushel genetic yield potential with corn. And our job is to get the very best and the most out of that genetic potential by removing any of the obstacles, any of the stresses, uh, feeding that plant exactly what it needs on a day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week basis. And you know, it, it's just a huge asset uh, to move forward. If you've got 150 bushel dry land, 300 bushel irrigated, you've doubled your yield, but you've only bought that seed one time. So uh, you planted one acre instead of two. It's, it's just been a good, good avenue to travel. It, it is an expense up front, but it's got a very good payback. So far, our projects, we've been able to get a net return within less than three years, and there's not many things I can invest in and do that. It's, it's just a top-notch way to go.